Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. This is the fifth time I have tried to film this video, but we're gonna just, just we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. If I say the wrong thing or whatever, we're just pretend it didn't happen. Um, I got a little bit of a different setup right now. I moved this, I have this bench. I moved this over here next to my side of the bed and the piece of furniture that was back here, um, I cleared that off and relocated everything that was on that or threw it away. And now that is in Marshall's room. So hopefully he's gonna make good use of it. So uh, I had put it in the hallway and I really liked it there, but he wanted it in his room, so he took it. And that's fine. But um, this is another 10 movies to watch on Netflix. These, this isn't a specific category. This is just kind of general. Um, and you know, just these are my recommendations for while we're on lockdown or quarantine or uh, self distancing, whatever we want to call it. So the first movie is, well, this is my second list. So, um, but this is the first movie on my second list, uh, Purple Rain. It's on Netflix right now. Um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a Prince fan because the, the soundtrack is excellent. It's probably one of my all-time favorite soundtracks. It's not one of my all-time favorite movies. I don't think it's incredibly well acted, but it's um, it's nostalgic for me. And it's, you know, it's just a fun little watch. And it, it's emotional. It's a love story and sort of, and that doesn't really do it for me, but the music is so fun in it. Uh, Princess and the Frog, Disney's Princess and the Frog, it's on there. I think it's relatively new on Netflix. I had never seen it up there before, but I don't know. It could have been up there before. I don't know. Uh, and then next, Pan's Labyrinth. Now, this is a disturbing movie. It has some pretty um, gory, violent scenes in it, but it is beautifully done. Like, the whole film is just very... Uh, um, it's stunning. It's like the vis visually stunning, the special effects, the makeup effects, um, which I don't think it's practical effects. I think it's CGI, but I can't be 100% certain on that. And it is subtitled, but it is, it is a stunningly made movie. It is, it is fantastic. If you, if you can deal with the subtitles, it's a great movie. Um, next on my list is Room, uh, not a comedy. This movie is very serious, it's heart-wrenching. Um, it could be triggering for some people, so maybe read up on it before watching it. But it is an excellent movie. Brie Larson is in it from, um, you know, I, I think she's Captain Marvel or something like that. I don't really know a lot about the uh, superhero stuff, but yeah. Um, it's just an excellent movie, but it is heart-wrenching. Uh, Swiss Army Man with uh, Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, um, and I think... Uh, <sighs> this is why I keep having to film it, because I forget names that I, I should know. Um, Paul Dano. I think it's Paul Dano in it. Uh, he's uh, from Little Miss Sunshine. But yeah, it's that's just a weird movie. It's weird. It's ridiculous, but you know. Yeah, it's something to distract you. Uh, the Theory of Everything with Eddie Redmayne playing Stephen Hawking. It, it's beautifully done movie. And it's a little heart-wrenching, too. Um, the next is Christopher Robin with Ewan McGregor. Who the, the That's another reason I've been filming this video over and over again. Because I couldn't remember Ewan McGregor. If I can't remember Ewan McGregor's name, I'm my brain is going it is um i don't know why i was having such a hard time remembering his name but ewan mcgregor is in it um a very sweet movie um next uh, chernobyl diaries i this movie got mixed reviews a lot of people hated it a lot of people loved it i think it's really good i think it's a solid horror movie and Sorry about the little jump cut. Um, <laughs> I got a phone call from my uh, friend and we ended up talking for a really long time. But uh, you should always talk to your friends. So so I believe I was on the Chernobyl Diaries. So I don't really remember what I said exactly. So forgive me if I'm repeating myself. But it, um, a lot of people didn't like it, but a lot of people loved it. I love it. I think it's a really good horror movie. I'm always fascinated with Chernobyl stuff and not in the the way that like uh, Instagram models are fascinated by it where they want to go have a sexy picture taken 
not that kind of fascination, just, um, it's just historic, it's history, it's, um, I got cut off again by my, my alarm, um, it's his history, and, um, I hated anything like history and things like that in school, but now I, I, I love history, um, so yeah, Chernobyl Diaries, it's really scary, and very good, it, I just spit, <sighs> sorry, um, Oh, I want to, oh, um, so one of my friends posted on Facebook that her and her boyfriend were, um, I don't know if he's her husband or her boyfriend. I guess she's not that good of a friend of mine, but they were driving down the road and some guy made a poop on the bench at the bus stop and then wiped it off with his hand. Ew. I mean, I, I have no reason not to believe her. She hasn't done anything to make me think that she would lie about something like that, but. Okay, so next, The Dirt um, about Motley Crue. It's, uh, it, 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 it's got a lot of inaccuracies in it, but still really good. Um, it's messed up. I, I don't want to be mean, but I have a low opinion of those girls that chase after hair bands and groupies and stuff. And I'm sorry, I just do. Um, I, I just think that they, they really set the women's movement back. Whatever. But anyway, it's a good movie, though. It's a fun movie. It's silly. Um, and then the Stanford Prison Experiment. Also very disturbing, but um, strangely, I don't want to say entertaining, but it's really, uh, it, it, it grips you and pulls you in. And now I have a bonus that I just discovered. The Edge of Seventeen. The dude that played Ryder on the later seasons of Glee is in it. And um, Kira Sedgwick and Woody Harrelson is in it. And it's just, it's really good. Um, it's, you know, family dynamics, being a teenager, things like that. But it's not teenage -y. I mean, there's teenager stuff in it, but I think we can all kind of relate to it. But uh, she sort of encompasses all the emotions of a teenage girl in just one person in a very condensed amount of time. And, um, you know, for the length of the movie. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good movie. I like it. But that's a bonus. So you got 11 movies in this video. Um, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I have several more lists coming your way and, um, I will talk to all of you later. Bye.